Hello and welcome to this HID session with me Rahul, your coach and joining me today is my tribe. I've got Rohit and Ismail with me and together we're going to help you reach your fitness goals and complete this dynamic full body workout. We will start the session with 4 minutes of warm up, followed by 20 minutes of the main workout and end the session with 2 minutes of cool down. If this is your first few sessions, please follow Rohit on my left as we will demonstrate the scaled down variation of the movements. You want to start with those and you can look into scaling them up as the workout progresses. And all the advanced athletes, you will work along with Ismail on the scaled up version of the movements. But before we get started, keep a bottle of water and towel close by and now let's begin with the warm up. The first one we're going to be doing is inchworm to push up just to activate the complete body, all right? So you're gonna come down, palms down, walk, 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 get to a plank, do a push up, and then walk back up, all right? Just try to keep your knees slightly soft and feel that activation on your hamstring as well. For the scale down, do the same thing, but when you're gonna do a push up, knee down and do a push up and come back up, yeah? 30 seconds of that, let's do this guys, starting in three, two, and one. Let it commence. Nice one, all right. Knee down push up for the scale down, but everything else remains the same, okay? You're gonna walk out, make sure you have good activation of your hamstring, of your glutes, and when you get into that plank, get that core engaged, keep it tight, nice and tight, right? Brace it, and get one push up, maybe a few more, and we should be done with 30 seconds. In fact, we're done now, all right, good. Okay, nice. Next up, we've got knee hugs. Standing tall, get one knee up, hug it nice. Knee up, hug it nice, all right? Let's do this for 30 seconds. Scale down, scale up, just the same. Let's go for it. Yeah, good job, all right. Nice. Now you can keep your feet a little wider also just to ease into that, you know, one side, the other side as well. Okay, if you keep it, you know, far facing far forward or, you know, right in front, you might not be able to balance well, so just keep your feet a little angled and go from one side to the other, like this, all right? Good, good, okay, 30 seconds, right? Really squeeze those, those knees close to your chest and done. Next up, this is a brilliant one. Get that heart rate up and also activate your lower body. We're gonna do predator jacks for 30 seconds. Arms forward, right? Open up your chest and arms and then you squat down. Come up, okay, nice movement there. Step, step, step on the scale down. Let's do this, 30 seconds, three, two, and one. Hit it, guys. Nice, step, predator jacks on the scale down that Rohit is demonstrating. If you're doing the scale down variation, take a look at what Rohit is doing. And just follow along, all right? That's the modified version. Now on the scale up, we've got Ismail doing the scale up version. Jacks out, squats, back, jacks out, squats, and back. Okay, nice work, done. Warm up, done, all right? Few deep breaths, that's what we need because we're gonna start the main workout, right? Each movement, 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest. We go for four movements, four rounds. After every round, we're gonna be resting for 30 seconds, all right? The first movement that we have for you today is a full body conditioning burpees. Take a look, guys. Most of you are aware of this. Okay, first thing, bend down, extend, chest down, shoot up, hands over. Okay, that's the movement. For the scale down, you're gonna do step burpee. Step, step, chest down, come up, step forward, step forward and a little jump. Hands above the head, not like this, and certainly no jumping like this. All right, complete extension, straight up, vertically. Okay, let's do this for 45 seconds, guys, starting in three, two, and one. Hit it. Nice job, good, all right. Nice one, guys, okay? You wanna do, uh, take about two seconds, three seconds to get one rep. All right, so try hitting about anywhere from 12 to 18 reps, okay, in 45 seconds. Come on, come on, 
do this. Nice work. Full body conditioning over here. This really gets that heart rate up as well. Improves strength, coordination, stability. You name it, very athletic workout this is, okay? Improves tons of coordination and awareness in your body. Okay, done guys, done. All right, how's that? 15 seconds, quick recovery. Next up, we're gonna be hitting one and a half squat. So this is your normal squat, feet, shoulder width, toes pointing out, you go down, but instead of coming up all the way, half, and then go down and come up. So one and a half, all right? On the scale down, you'll just do normal air squat. Feet planted down firmly, all right? Let's do this starting in three, two, and one. Go for it, nice one. That's the one and a half squat. Working out on the scale of variation. Take a look at his smile while you're working out on your screen and make sure that you're just following him, okay? And on the scale down, we've got Rohit doing the, the body weight squat without, you know, just go down and up, just go down and up, okay? Without that 0.5 variation, without the half squat. It's the full squat for every rep for 45 seconds. Once again, try to get anywhere from 12 to 18 reps. That's good, okay? Great job, guys. Come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Nice work over here. Work on your quads, on your glutes, and just train that movement, all right? Train that movement and build those muscles done. Good job, right? Next up, we've got plank jacks, okay? We're gonna start at that high plank position. We're gonna do the high plank jacks. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Scale down, step, step. I don't want you to keep your legs too wide, all right? Shoulder width, shoulder width, shoulder width, and then join back, okay? Throughout the movement, you gotta keep that core tight and engaged in three, two, and one. Hit it, guys. Nice. Your hip should not come up too high. It should not be in a mountain position, okay? You want a flat back right from your head to your thoracic to your lower back, okay? Good, okay, you can pick up some pace there, Roy. Yeah, I know you're doing a scale down, but let's show what we can do with the scale down as well, right? Go from one side to the other, move fast, but with great form and understanding of the movement pattern. Work with your legs, keeping that core tight, nice. Good job, good job guys. Come on, come on, come on. Let's keep doing this, 45 seconds, coming to an end. Great job. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Almost there and done. Okay, nice work. We've saved the best one for the last. Okay, now this one, super athletic. Broad jump to back pedal. So you start at the edge of the mat, jump forward, and then you back pedal quickly, about three steps, forward, one, two, three, and then you come back to the start position. For the scale down, two small hops. One, two, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, one, two, three, four, right? This is gonna improve your agility, and we have this plyometric training added in today's session for you. Okay, let's do this, guys. 45 seconds, three, two, and one. Hit it now. Nice, land soft, all right? Land soft, do that broad jump, control. You know, you gotta, you gotta be aware of how far you're jumping, be a little careful. If the floor is, you know, slippery, then you can do two small hops, even if you're doing a scale up, all right? Just make sure that, you know, you're doing this with utmost safety. And if you feel that you are in control, go for it with that broad jump. Nice work, nice work. It just gets challenging, you know, after that 10, 15 second mark, but you gotta keep hitting till we finish 45 seconds. Nice work, you all. Get those boosters going. Get that energy score ticking. This is high intensity interval training. And now it's time for interval. 30 seconds rest. One round smashed already, okay? How's that burpee going? How's that squat going? And that lovely last movement, right? That broad jump to the back pedal really, really improves that heart rate, your conditioning, strength, right? Strength, explosive strength, because you're shooting from one end to the other end, right? And then you're pedaling back. Okay, so let's stay focused, guys. Let's start with round number two, burpees. Okay, let's hit it, let's hit it. Come on, come on. 45 seconds, guys. All right, nice one, nice one. 
Okay, good. Even if you're doing the scale down, I'd like you to step up, step up, and then take a little jump, all right? Just to get that vertical, you know, uh, uh, the ability to jump straight up, that vertical, vertical jump will improve as well. It's athletic, guys, it's athletic. Nice work there. Build strength, builds a whole lot of conditioning element in your body. Targets your cardiovascular system, improves that you know flow of energy right from one part of your body to the other because this is a compound move you know, you're engaging the whole body over here done guys done 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 amazing work okay rest up 15 seconds deep breaths we would need that for sure deep breaths deep breaths two to three times and 15 seconds should be done and then we're going to be hitting your squat all right okay let's go for it one and a half squat nice that's good up down and up again okay try to hit maximum range but with great form okay back flat if this happens then look at a range where your back does not round you have that control over that spine and then come up okay this is for the scale down all right on the scale up one and a half and up one and a half and up nice work there nice work you're starting to feel that burn on your quads guys that's good that's good but keep going 45 seconds almost there brilliant job come on nice work guys and there you go okay a few more deep breaths guys all right plank jacks coming up you can do this you can do this all right let's get in position Keep your knees down, keep your knees down, keep your knees down, relax. Deep breaths, three, two, one, and let's go. Nice, all right. Stay light, stay light on your toes, don't put too much pressure or weight on your legs. Take that weight on your upper body, all right. You gotta be nimble footed uh, when you're doing this, okay. We don't want to overload your legs because they gotta move jack in and jack out right let that core take a whole lot of load as well so brace that core nice don't let your hips sink down okay some good tips yeah you can stop for a few seconds it's okay it's all right because we're giving our 100 percent in every movement and every round nice good job there all right how's it going a little bit of you know, breaks in between, that's fine, guys, that's fine. Okay, now, broad jump to back pedal coming up, okay? Remember, on the scale down, you'll do small jumps, two small jumps, two small hops, and jog back, okay? Let's get ready, guys. We're finishing off round number two in style in three, two, and one. Go for it. Broad jump, nice. Boom, 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 go back. Broad jump, yeah, and one, two, three, four. Again, jump forward, control that, land soft, and pedal back nice okay so on the scale down two small hops right one and two and jog back good stuff guys good stuff nice work there nice work almost there almost there come on come on come on well done well done come on let's finish strong guys let's finish strong and on a high just a few more just a few more we're finishing we're finishing all right nice work there okay Almost there, almost there. And that's the time. All right, guys, that breather is very important. You all can come back. 30 seconds, right? So this 30 second break is gonna be very, very beneficial for your body. You will have this quick recovery, just enough to hit the next few rounds. Okay, so let's get ready for round number three, guys. Puppies coming up for 45 seconds, starting in three, two, and one. Go for it, nice work. Nice work, jump up, go down. Great job, yeah, up, go down again, chest down, shoot up, and up, nice. Wow, just enough, right, just enough. It challenges you, and you gotta keep hitting it till we finish this 45 seconds, all right? Try to hit 10, 12, 15, okay, and just try to stick within that range. You can go beyond 15, great, all right? But 10, 12 is also good enough, all right, nice. Come on, come on, almost there. 10 more seconds, all right, let's keep going, let's keep going. Good job, good job. Just 
add one more, guys. We are done, we are done, done. Nice, nice. Okay, relax. Breathe in, out, in, out. Take two to three seconds to inhale. Exhale for the same amount of time. Two to three times you do that, you should be just enough ready for the next workout, the squat. Let's go for it in three, two, and one. All right, my body's already gone. It's good, it's good. All right, he's gone ahead and did one extra rep there. Nice work, y'all. Come on and smile. Go down one, come up half, and then stand up tall again. That's your one and a half squat. Make sure that your toes are slightly pointing out your knees track, all right? Not too much, not too much, okay? Just about slight enough, okay? All right, keep this up, keep this up. Great work, great work, guys, great work. Feel that work on your quadriceps and your glutes as well. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. It's about five now. If you want two reps, and that's done, that's done, okay. Plank jacks coming up. Get ready, let's get into that plank position. Keep your knees down though, let's relax a little bit. Remember this is round number three, we just have four rounds. Get that heart rate up, let's go for it now. Nice, okay, on the scale down guys, if you're finding it too easy with the step jacks, how about doing the scale up version? All right, Rohit, you can add the plank jacks. Okay, don't, don't jump your feet too wide, just about shoulder width is okay. A little bit wider than shoulder width is also fine, all right? But not too wide, okay? Not too wide and nice. Come on, come on, come on. Get that hip slightly down, Ismail. Yeah, keep that core tight, nice and tight, engaged. Okay, a lot of focus should be there on your upper body and your core, okay? A lot of work there. 10 more seconds, come on, come on. Let's finish this off, guys. Let's finish this off nice and strong. You're almost there, and there you are, okay. Wow, how's that? Nice, great combination of movements, guys, but we're not done yet. To finish this third round, broad jump to back pedal coming up for you. Three, two, and one. Boom, you go forward. Three small steps, boom again, you go forward, back pedal, nice, keep going, all right, two small hops on the scale down, yeah, that's good, that's good, but you gotta control these hops as well, okay, you gotta use your leg muscles to drive forward, use your arms as momentum to swing forward, and that's not the end of it, you gotta land soft as well, and then you gotta be aware of stepping back, just enough so that you reach that start point, right? Okay, a lot of work, 10 more seconds, guys, maybe one or two more jumps, okay? Nice one, nice one, nice. And there you go, there you go. Wow, 30 seconds rest, because we're gonna hit your stretching now, okay? So allow that body to relax, breathe in, breathe out, four rounds done. Okay, just, just focus on that breathing now, a few sips of water. We are preparing for stretching now, okay? The first one of the stretching for today, we are gonna be focusing on the uh, seated pec stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down onto your knees, your interlock your fingers behind, push those arms behind and bring those chest, that chest forward. All right, feel a good stretch on your chest and on your shoulder as well. So let's do this starting in three, two, and one. 30 seconds, as much as possible. Forward, 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 forward. Okay, good. If you feel a little tight around your chest and you're not able to push your arms back, it's all right guys, we're not slow and steady, we will get there. As much as possible, as much as your body allows you. If it's not going beyond this, it's still fine. Okay, few more seconds, guys. Gonna be done. 30 seconds in total, and there you are. Nice, okay, 30 seconds done. Next up, we've got the, the Dragon Pose Quad Stretch. So what does this do is we, we start in a lunge position, okay? Then I'm gonna take my left palm down, with my right hand, I'm gonna pull that left leg and hold this. If you want, you can come up as well and stretch your quadricep, the left leg. Starting in three, two, and one. That's it. Okay, so 30 seconds on this side, and then
and 30 seconds on the other side. 30, 30, one whole minute of quadriceps stretch. We would definitely need that after your squats. Okay, breathe in guys, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Okay, there, almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's switch. Go for it. Nice one. Pull that foot. Try to get that heel close to your glutes as much as possible. But if you have you know, some discomfort around your ankle, it's okay. As much as possible to do that. You can keep that uh, arm, palm, the opposite arm down as well for balance. So about 10 more seconds, guys. Good. All right, we're done. Okay, next up, we've got Cobra, a back bend work, right? Palms outside your shoulders, up. And as much as possible, look up, hip down, extend your toes. And do not shrug your shoulders, relax your shoulders. And you'll feel a nice stretch on your abdomen and you will relieve your back of all the tightness, especially the lower back. Go for it, guys. Now, if you have slight discomfort while doing this, you can always keep your palms slightly forward. Baby Cobra or even a Sphinx pose where you keep your elbows down as well. Okay? Nice. Good job, guys. Keep doing this. We are going to hit this for 30 seconds, right? Okay? Come on. Some more time. And we are done. Okay. 30 seconds done, last one, mountain. From there, you're gonna lift your hip up, okay? Just keep your arms slightly more forward and try to get that heel, your heels down and hold there. I don't want your head coming too close to the ground. Just focus on the lower uh, part of your body, okay? Your hamstrings, your back of the calf. In fact, your calf rather, back of the knee is what I meant. Try to get those heels down, okay? 30 seconds there. Your palms can be slightly forward. Yeah. Good. Nice work there. Okay, a few more seconds, guys. A few more seconds. We're almost there. Great job. And done. Okay, awesome job, team. Okay, if you're working out with your bodies, don't forget to elbow-fight them. Fantastic work, you all. A full body blast for a better you. Nice work on the quads and you know, massive effort on improving full body conditioning. Job well done, guys. Right, grab some delicious fruits after your workouts. Uh, consuming fruits like bananas, berries, and apples, it's a great way to replenish your energy reserves after a sweaty workout, you know? A lot of us have sweated it out today, so that would be really beneficial for you. And of course, the natural sugar of fructose present in these fruits provides that energy to restore all that you have expended. Time to say goodbye now, so we'll be doing our closing ritual where we shout out together, we are cults. Let's do that, okay? So we're gonna keep our hands on the hips, and on my count, three, two, one, we're gonna shout out. Are we all ready for this? All right, let's do this, guys. In three, two, one. We are cult. See you soon, another session. Goodbye.